John Hancock here with another uh, uh, video game uh, video and I have something pretty special to showcase today uh, uh, thank you Corey Streit for letting me borrow his one-of-a-kind prototype that he found and uh, the story behind this is uh, my good friend Corey um, scored this in a Seattle Goodwill um, it was a wrong turn and he stumbled into this uh, place it was actually the second time he went in there and he located this cart. This is the only known 5200 game of Astro Grover. It is uh, uh, quite unique. Um, there, it was released on other systems, but not the 5200. It's got a really cool label on it. Um, Children's Computer Workshop. Um, very, uh, very cool label. Um, only one of its kind to be found so far. Pretty crazy, you know, 2011 and you're still finding uh, prototypes. <laughs> so anyways, uh, just fire it up. I just want to showcase uh, kind of basically what we got here. It is an educational game. Uh, I've got a very cool intro. Uh, it's got Grover and um, pretty cool colors there. And pretty much uh, you press start and it uh, winds up on this menu screen and by pressing reset you can go to the different levels I'm just going to show you the first level it's pretty much most levels are adding and subtraction um, but it is uh, I have tested all the levels and they they do work so by pressing start goes to the next screen and uh, has this nice music by pressing uh, star, it starts, so the ship shoots out, I don't know, with those ships or whatever they are, and then you just pretty much on your number pad, you register, okay, that's that's two, and then part of the town appears. So the goal, I guess, is to, you know, uh, locate or uh, register uh, the entire town, so pretty, pretty not, you know, like I said, it's an ed educational game, but... Uh, again, I just wanted to showcase this game to everybody. Again, it's one of a kind. Thank you very much for looking at this.